In this video, we're going to get used to being able to sketch a graph using the factored form of a quadratic equation. Let's say you have an equation like this, where two roots, or shall I say zeros, exist, given to you as the factored form. If I asked you to graph the equation by a quick sketch, how would you go about doing this? Well, the zeros are easily given to us as x equals negative 2 and 1. So we know that there is a point here and here on the graph. Since a parabola is symmetrical, meaning that the vertex must be in the midway of these two x values, we know that the vertex is going to be somewhere on this line on the graph. So to find the midpoint, we do negative 2 plus 1 divided by 2 to get negative 0.5, which is how we arrive upon the axis of symmetry. And since this equation has an a value of 1, which is positive, we know that the parabola will be opening up. So it could be like this, or more like this. Now we just need to know where the vertex is and we would more or less be able to sketch the graph. Well, we know the vertex needs to be on the axis of symmetry. Since we already know that the vertex lies on the axis of symmetry, which is on negative 0.5, then we know that the x value for the vertex is negative 0.5. So, to find out what the y value is for our vertex, we can simply plug negative 0.5 into x, into this equation, y equals x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1. And notice how we change the equation to equal y. We're not interested in fixing the y value at 0, since we're interested in finding out where the vertex is instead of finding out what values the graph might plot out when y is 0. So when we plug in negative 0.5, we get this, which equals negative 2.25, making our vertex equal to negative 0.5, negative 2.25. And now we can sketch our graph more accurately. Awesome. So what do we do here? We looked at the zeros given to us and knew right away that those are points on the parabola. We then knew that the vertex would be in the middle, so we took the x value that we know the vertex to be at and substituted it into the equation to find the y value of our vertex. And voila, three essential points for a good sketch of a parabola were found. Good. And what if we wanted to check if this was done correctly? In fact, since it's so important to be comfortable between the different forms of quadratic functions, let's go ahead and expand the factored form into a standard form, and then complete the squares to end with the vertex form. Let's confirm if the vertex was right, while exercising some of the things that we've already learned from our completing the squares video. So if we set the 0 back to y and expand, we get y equals x squared plus x minus 2. Now, in order to complete the squares, we take the number being multiplied by x here, which is 1. And then we divide it by 2, which becomes 1 over 2. And then we square it, giving us 1 over 4. So we decide to use this 1 over 4 to add and subtract to this equation to complete the squares and give ourselves a perfect square trinomial. If we simplify this perfect square trinomial, we get this. And simplifying the rest of it gives us this. So this is our final vertex form that we end up with. As we can see, our h is negative 1 over 2. And we know that because the original vertex form is supposed to be this. Meaning that if we had a plus 1 over 2 in here, then h is equal to negative 1 over 2. Our k is negative 2.25, and since the vertex is h k, we indeed have a vertex of negative 0.5, negative 2.25.
So it looks like we've confirmed that we had gotten the right answer earlier on. Awesome, so to sum it all up, all you need to do when sketching a graph from the factored form is to identify the roots of the equation, find the midpoints of the roots, if it's a case that there are two roots, plug the x value of the midpoint back into the factored form, obtaining the y value in order to find the vertex, and finally, identify if A is positive or negative to determine its direction of the graph. With all this information, you can draw a rough sketch of how our parabola will generally look. So that's it for this video. We hope you try some questions and we will see you in the next lesson.